Welcome back, guys, to Seek the Beast on the Mind Crack Feed the Beast mod pack server. You can tell we are in a new location, and that's right, I did actually abandon the staging area that uh, I said I was going to do in the first episode, or after the first episode. Uh, it took me a little longer, but it uh, we did it. it. I'm done with that area. The only thing that's still there are, I guess, I guess the farms. I didn't, like dig up any of the farms or anything, but all of the machines, all the crafting benches, all the boxes, everything like that is totally gone. Um, I, have, I have compressed all my storage into these boxes here. Cobble, um, blocks, ores, look at all this loveliness. Um, so today I'm going to be setting up the mines here, and I want to start a quarry, and I need to power it. So, um... There's a bunch of different ways you can go about qu powering a quarry, but because I'm trying to remain hidden and underground and secret, uh, my options are limited. I'll, one of the things a lot of people are doing are using solar panels, which give kind of free power that uh, never runs out. Well, it only works during the day, but um, it's free power, and that option doesn't really work for me. So I was looking through the options, and I decided that uh, what might be fun is to make a ridiculous amount of water mills and make this big like engine uh, <laughs> mad scientist laboratory thing with lava flowing everywhere and um, but anyway we've got a lot to craft so we want to make a quarry and um, I want to spend most of the episode just uh, doing stuff so let's get all this crafting out of the way and then we'll just uh, worry about um, we will... I don't need two shovels, do I? Let's get rid of the shovel. And I probably don't need these ladders right this second. Okay. Uh, just trying to clean up my inventory a little bit. So we need to make a quarry, and I'm only going to show how to make things once. And then after that, I'll just um, uh, assume that um, you know how they're made. And I'm mostly doing this for people that are new to the game. So anyway, for uh, quarries, which are from Buildcraft, we need a bunch of gears. You start with wood gears. Oh, I think, is that right? Seven, yes, we do need seven. Okay, and then each gear um, requires the gear from the previous tier. So if we go up a tier to an iron gear, that doesn't work. Oh no, we <laughs> well, skipped a step. We need to go to stone first. Wood to stone, and then to iron. Okay, so upgrading the wood to stone gear and then the iron gear and for people that are familiar with uh, feed the beast all this is common knowledge uh, let's see we need three of those yes um, all this is common knowledge so I'm only showing it for people that are new and I'm only gonna show each thing once okay so then we got four gold gears and then we need two diamond gears pow look at those shiny then we uh, put on our gold gears like this, that like that, that like that, and redstone. There's our quarry. All right, get that out of the way. I'm going to have some fun today. Uh, we're also going to need something to sort of store and transfer the power. We're going to make some bat boxes. I'm going to just start off with five of them. Uh, we can make more later. These are low voltage, easy to make, uh, but they don't, uh, they're not... They're sort of the, the newbie stuff, basically. There we go. Bat boxes. Stash it! Oh, you know what I haven't looked at the achievement menus for each of the different mods. Each mod has its own achievement thingy. Um, okay, so then we're going to need something to power the quarry. Now, the quarries are in Buildcraft, and the power source I'm using is Industrial Craft, and they use different energies. Um, industrial Craft uses... EU energy units and Buildcraft uses uh, uh, Minecraft jewels, and the two do not transfer unless you have forestry installed, and then you can use an electric engine. Um, am I doing this right? Tin, tin. Okay, yes. Just checking. Um, with forestry installed, you can make an electric engine which transforms industrial craft power to um, build craft Minecraft jewels. There we go, there's our electrical engine. <laughs> We're just condensing everything in here. Uh, then we need to make a bunch of water mills. 
Now I want to have 128. I've sort of laid out the design of how I want this to look. And I need 128. I don't have the materials for it yet. Um, but we're getting there. Mainly it's the generators that were expensive. They require a lot of refined iron. Uh, but each of these gets us two water mills. So now we're, we're halfway there. We've got 64 water mills. Um, we're going to need some tin cable. And I was actually, I was looking at voltages and things and doing some math. And at first I thought I would need uh, gold insulated cable. But I think that's a little bit of overkill, at least to start out. We may eventually upgrade to something like that. So let me put the gold back. And we're just going to use copper cable. Copper cable um, is more efficient than gold cable in terms of the energy it loses over a distance. Um, but it can't handle as high of a voltage is the downside. But I, I'm, I'm not really worried about the, uh, the voltage right now because uh, we're not going to have enough energy to require more voltage for a while. Then we need these guys uh, to set up the boundary of our quarry. And now we need the fun. Here, here comes the fun. Are you ready? <laughs> I was uh, over at Pack Rats. I talked about in the other episode. And he was showing me some fun stuff with the portal gun. Like uh, shooting me to the moon. <laughs> I, I assume it was by accident and not malicious. But there we go. Here's a portal gun. This is going to be loads of fun. And this has lagged out the server in the past. So... Um, If it does, I'm sorry. Kind of. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. And it operates exactly like the um It operate, oh, it operates exactly like the uh the one from uh the game. I'm trying to see if you can um maintain your momentum through it. Doesn't really seem like it. Oh, kind of. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Let's um. Let's see. Blue is up there. Oh, I was a little slow. Oh, yes, you can definitely maintain your momentum. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so um. I I I made this thing for a purpose, but I do kind of want to just mess around with it for a while. Whoa! Whoa, there's my back! Whoa! Here! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and we gotta do the corner one, of course. Ooh, ooh, look at. Hello, handsome! Why, hello! <laughs> and the, uh, the transfer between isn't quite. Uh, isn't quite. Um, no, this might get me killed. Although I, I have the, uh, the fall boots enabled. Come on. Huh. Come on. Go through. Uh, oh, well, whatever. Oh! Stop it! No, no. Okay. Um, I built this for a purpose. <laughs> so, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go shoot the moon, and then we're gonna clear out this area by, uh, by basically sucking all of these blocks I don't need, um, out to the moon. So let me go do that, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, there it goes. Now you have to be careful getting too close to it. Um, you know what, let me open this up. I just had a thought. I need to move the blue portal farther that way, and I, I might have just shot the wall and put the portal on the wall and sucked myself to the moon. And possibly all of my items, which are right there. So that would have been extremely bad. So I have to be very careful about this. Um, so what is it going to do? It's going to suck in all these blocks. going to clear out a nice big area for the mine, um, for our water mills, for the quarry. And um, very quick. Way quicker even than a mining laser. Look at it. Just sucking it all in. And I... Now that I'm going to have access to quarries, I'm not really worried about losing all this stuff. It's mostly worthless stone and sand and stuff. So no big deal. And yeah, this is how um, I got sucked into one of those at Pack Rat's place, so be careful. <laughs> just, 
just about finished up. It's amazing how much space I've cleared out in just a matter of minutes. It's kind of ridiculous. I just heard some zombies. Watch what happens. Um, let's walk away from the darkness. Let's walk back over here. Yeah, yeah. And then let's come back. Hopefully some monsters will have spawned. Where are you at, monsters? They should have... I, I'm definitely far enough away, and that's definitely very dark over there. Uh, but you can suck them into the portal. I'm at uh, Y elevation 35, so once we make the quarry, we'll only be getting the good stuff. I don't see any monsters for some reason. I wonder if it's it's possible that it's um, nighttime outside and there's monsters up above. So they're not... Oh, there's one! You see the creeper? There's another one. Hey, creeper! <laughs> and the skelly too. Sargat! Sargat! Uh, but we're just about done. You can make a quarry up to uh, 64 by 64. And I'm going to do a third of that. I'm going to do 24. That's not a third. Uh, that would be tw 21 or 21.3. But whatever. I'm going to do 24 by 24. Um, so this cor this is one corner there. The other corner is down there. Need to clear out enough space uh, to do the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, tw oop, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four. All right, there's our other corner. So we have cleared out enough. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I had enough cleared out before I cancel the portals. Um, so I don't have to go up back upstairs and um, shoot the moon again, basically. And this side is good. All right, you hit R, and it will cancel the portals. Good. Now, get that out of my inventory. I had a close call a little bit earlier where I almost killed myself. I almost sucked myself into, uh, into the gap, which was no good. All right, let's clear this out. Light up all this. All right, that was awesome. Look how look at all this. This is amazing. Um, did this in a matter of minutes. If I had tried to do this with a pick, it would have taken me hours. Even with a fully charged up mining laser, it would have taken a while. Um, okay, so um, let's set up the boundary for the thing. We have to set up our power source as well. And let's just. Let's offload. Let's get that out of my inventory. It's making me nervous just sitting in my inventory. Uh, okay, so first we need these guys. And then that guy. So with these guys, we are going to set up the perimeter. So one's going to be right here. Plow. And I should probably move these torches to the outside actually um, and these were just to mark off the boundary anyway so do it like that okay other corner is here recover some of these torches I hear a bat no monsters very bright look at this huge space I need one of these in a vanilla world, just the portal gun, just for clearing out huge amounts of space. Okay, there's the other one. Uh, we have one more to do, actually. Uh, but I just want to clear out all the torches in the middle. I'm not sure what would happen to the torches. But uh, once the quarry starts going, it's going to delete anything in the middle. So we need to get rid of the torches anyway. Uh, we're not going to be able to hook it up quite yet anyway, though. Okay, let's see. 24. Where are you? Right here? Does that look right? That looks right to me. Okay, and then you right click on it. Bing! Just like that. Just so. Hopefully. Oh, man. Okay, um, so we're not going to do anything with that for a little while. One thing we are going to do. Um, let's see, so this is the center line for the mine. I'm going to be running the electrical wire under the ground here to everything, and then we're going to have a five block wide platform and the quarries on either side of this five, uh, five block wide 
path, and the path is that. Oh, Enderman. Ooh. So we we have no Ender Ender on the server, and so I've been taking every opportunity I have to murder these guys because the Ender pearls are really valuable. Hey, buddy, come get some. Right here. You want some of this? Hey -oh. Hey -oh. Yeah, how hey, you like them crits? Crits, crits for days. There we go. So with a two, <laughs> with a little roof over your head, they're pretty trivial. But I recommend making it a three by three. Don't do a two by two roof uh, because there's a possibility they'll warp behind you and hit you from the other side. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, okay. The quarry. It's got to be touching one of the corners. Splow. Whoops. No, no. You're supposed to connect to that. What did it say? Let's, um... Give me that back. What did you say? Core size is outside of chunk, chunk loading bounds. I don't know what that means. I don't know why. Let's try here. Uh, let's try this corner. Is it not perfectly square or something? I don't know what's going on. I tried this and, um, there we go. Oh, and then it broke all of them. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Um, all I did is I, uh, I replaced the little markers. Oh, it looks like I can reuse them. That's awesome. Good. I don't have to, I mean, they're not very expensive, but it's nice to be able to recycle things. Nice to be environmentally conscious after I've just sucked a bunch of, uh, a bunch of material to the moon. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to work on our water mills. So um, <laughs> I've started messing around with these, and I, I've always kind of felt a little bit like a mad scientist. Nothing I do is ever really the most efficient manner possible, but it's always with a certain ex extreme. Uh, let's put these back. Let's, I, I going over the top. I feel like sometimes I'm like creating monsters out of multiple parts, and I'm not really. I'm just shooting it with enough electricity until it works. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need the water mills, the ultra low current tin cable, and a lot of glass. We're gonna encase this stuff in glass and later we're gonna surround it in lava. And I need some basic building, scaffolding stuff. I'm gonna use dirt because it's quicker to add and remove. Let's see, do I need anything else in here? Engine, uh, that can wait, that can wait, okay. So I was messing around with this and I kind of want this to look kind of like the inside of the Death Star in Star Wars with all the like the energy fields and the force fields and the big floating things in midair generating lots of power. That's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, okay, so let's put the first one here. And you're, they're going to be kind of sitting in midair. Like so. Um, let's get the cable out too. Cable's going to be coming down from the center. And so the way water mills work is you can put a water bucket inside of them. Um, let's see. Oh, that's not quite finished yet. You can put a, a water bucket inside to generate a decent amount of power or you can just have water flowing around them to generate very little power. And then the water mills will be around it like that. And so a water mill in passive mode generates 0.01 EU um, per tick, which is very little, but it generates 0.01 EU per um, block of water around it. So, for instance, like we're gonna have these like this. Let me just go ahead and do two layers. So the bottom and the top layer are gonna generate more EU than the ones in the middle, because this uh, water mill, for instance, is gonna it's gonna generate power from water under here, and it generates uh, power from any water block around it in a three by three cube, three by three by three. So this one right here will get um, this water block two, three, four, five water blocks, and then the same, one, two, three, f uh, that's very hard to look at, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let me get my dirt. So let's just, um, I'll show this visually. So this water mill right here is going to get 0.01 EU from 
um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen for that guy. Now the one, next one up is going to receive less because it doesn't have this completely empty layer underneath it. So 0.18 EU for that water mill. And we're going to place a ton of these in a vertical stack. Um, and we're going to basically run up to the very limit of what this cable is capable of uh, transmitting, which I think is 6 EU. Um, so that can generate 6 EU. We're going to be generating slightly more than 6 EU with all these water mills combined. Um, and then we're going to combine four of these into um, a bunch of bat boxes down there to store the energy. And I might need to actually add in a, a MFE because uh, that is uh, required to charge my lap pack that I'm wearing that uh, powers my drill and my laser. So I, I may need to put that. This is all low voltage stuff. The MFE is medium voltage. So I'm going to build a stack of this and then we'll start powering this bad boy. Okay, we're just about done with the first tower. Uh, let's see. I made a little box up here, up in the ceiling, just to hold an infinite spring. Now we can start spreading the water and closing the gaps. Um, let's see, I should probably do, let's go, can I click this guy from here? And I really need to make, just for utility's sake, I need to make a jetpack soon. I would have already made it. Um... Now that's going to do almost everything. Uh, I would have already made it, but I, I like to make everything on camera and um, I'm trying to do like a certain number of things each episode, so I've been saving it actually. Um, I've had the materials to make one for a while. So uh, it doesn't matter if it's running water or still water. Any kind of water is fine and I've capped... Oh, I missed one. I'm, uh, I'm capping this with obsidian just for fun. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it from the ground, but um, it should be kind of interesting. Hopefully, I mean, I think lava and glass and obsidian is going to be like my my mad scientist sort of building kit or whatever. Let's see, so we can close these guys up, add a block of water in the corner there. Oop, did I do that right? No, there. Okay, get some more water, and I just I'd probably just leave this infinite spring up here uh, because I'm going to be making four of these stacks at least. And this isn't the best power in the world; it's not. But what it is is basically free, um, and and never runs out. Um, I never have to monitor it. I never have to fill up any fuel cells. I never have to worry about it overheating or blowing up or doing anything else that a lot of the more advanced stuff will do. And I can't really use the solar panels because I'm in hiding, I'm being secretive. Actually, let me cut a little access patch, patch, access hatch to the infinite spring from my ladder so I can close these guys up. And let's see, did I do, oh, I forgot this side. Did I forget the other side as well? I did. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? That's not supposed to be glass. That's supposed to be obsidian. There we go. And after starting up this quarry, uh, I'm going to have more obsidian than I know what to do with. Hey, yo, like that. Um, all right, let's jump up here. Let's see if we can add that guy. And then glass. And then this is the last water place that needs to be uh, added. Need to add one right there. And that should be all of them. Okay, so we should be generating power now. We just need to hook it up um, so that it's receiving, so something can receive the power. And I'm gonna, um, you know, I'm gonna leave this torch up there. Oops, let's fill up the buckets actually. Uh, but I'm gonna leave this torch up here. Because I'm gonna be making more of these anyway. Uh, we're not done with this. So there we go, let's go check out what it looks like, and there's obviously not going to be any lava yet. But <laughs> look at this, 
these giant energy transformer things hanging from this guy, spider. Okay. Uh, oh, my shovel broke. Okay. Let's go make another shovel. Let's see. Uh, oh, I have one. Lovely. Oh, it's gonna look crazy. Look at it just hanging out of the uh, the sky like this. I think I'm gonna leave the cave kind of unfinished like this too. So it looks like these giant energy pod science fiction things are just sort of hanging from the sky. So we can get rid of all this dirt. I'll leave the ladder again for future uh, building. So then we need the cable. This cable is efficient, doesn't hold a lot of voltage. We're gonna run it down into the floor like this. And we'll eventually, um, I think I, the way I was doing it was like this. Okay, that is the output. Every other side can ha be input. We're generating power, not a lot of power, but we're generating power enough to uh, run the quarry, which is nice. We're gonna have four of these bad boys. And, and then a lava stream coming down on the corners, I think. Right about there. And there, and there, and there. Um, but first, let's get this quarry hooked up so we can uh, start mining. Let's see, I need my copper cable and we're gonna run this under the ground here. And I'm gonna replace all of this stuff, um, all of the main flooring with stone bricks. I think stone bricks are going to be kind of like the theme <laughs> for my bases. Stone bricks, lava, glass, um, science fiction-y machinery. Okay, um, what I do need is my electric wrench so I can adjust the facing of that. So let's go grab that. Uh, I made that off camera. It's just a wrench and a uh, circuit and a battery in a diagonal fashion. There it is. Okay. Um, let's see, I think I had this where this was coming down. So right click on a un, um, on an input face to change it to the output face like that. We can start using, nope. Start using this. Okay, we don't want those to touch. Okay, lovely, lovely, going smoothly. Then we're gonna run this guy over here. And then we're gonna set up our electric motor underneath there like that. Uh, we're gonna run power to it under there. Like that. Um, and then I can replace all this with stone bricks and it'll be mostly hidden. Okay, so last thing I need is a lever to switch the mofo on and we should be we should be good as gravy. We should be in a full operation. Well not full operation, quarter operation. Eventually I will I will um, eventually move to like more advanced power. And this isn't very much power output. So uh, I'll, I'll eventually upgrade to better stuff, but it's, I think it's fun to start with the lower level stuff anyway, because if I just skip straight to the end tier, um, and there it goes, switched on. And now this is going, and oh, let me go make a box real quick and some pipe for the quarry. But if I just skip straight to end game stuff, I mean, that's kind of like, I don't know, that's missing kind of the part of the point. It's like playing Skyrim and not doing side quests. Okay, so I need glass. I need to make some pipes. Uh, make some stone pipes. I think this is how you make them. This is the first time I've made them. I've used them before in creative mode. Stone transport pipe. And then I'm going to make another gold box. So I'll need that. And I know I could use... Um, I'm eventually going to set up a sorting system. Um, and I may use some barrels for that. People have been suggesting I use barrels. But barrels aren't shiny. The uh, the gold boxes are so pretty. <laughs> and uh, appearances do matter. 
I'm, <laughs> I'm more concerned with how cool everything looks. All right, there's a gold box. Let's go set that up so when this thing starts digging, uh, it's got to build the framework first, but as soon as it starts digging, we can have it being um, dropping stuff off. So let's just have it drop stuff there and have this pipe come out of that. I guess that hole in the top is exactly for that. That's where the stuff comes out and drop down into there. Lovely. Um, okay, next thing. Let's make an infinite spring right here. As soon as that digs out one layer, I'm gonna fill it with water because a quarry will stop whenever it encounters lava or bedrock. And I don't want it to uh, get stopped every time it runs into lava. So I'm gonna put water on the top to turn all the lava into obsidian. As soon as it digs out one layer, uh, let's check our bat box, it's probably empty. It's being drained. So um, this guy right here, is an electrical engine and you can upgrade it. You can see there's a socket here, there's a there's a tube you can put in here. Um, I don't have the ability to make those just yet. Um, let me, let's look in the inventory, see if I can find them. I think they're called tubes. Yeah, okay. Copper electron tube, tin, bronze, iron, golden electron tube. These things upgrade it. Um, let's look at the bronze one. So this needs a therm it needs a thermionic fabricator to make. I don't even know what that is. Thermionic fabricator. Okay. Uh, so that takes gold. Oh, must sturdy casing, a box, glass. Sturdy casing takes bronze. Okay, I could definitely make that. I don't know what kind of power that takes, but um I'm not worried about that right now. It's up and running. That's good enough. Um, so let's see. What can we do? Let's work on the look of the place while that is building. That's going to be basically on autopilot. Eventually, I'll, I will set up some. Uh, eventually, I'll set up like automatic sorting and macerating and smelting and, and all that kind of cool stuff so that the whole thing is automated. But uh, one step at a time. We're taking baby steps here. What did I come in here for? Uh, bricks, that's right. Do I have any stone bricks? Ooh, I need to smelt some stone for that. Okay, uh, well... Hmm, I want to... Tell you what, I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're going to do... Um, I didn't want to use any more coal for smelting things, so we're going to upgrade my iron furnaces into the electronic variety. There we go, and we're going to hook them up right now, and uh, let's grab some cobble as well so we can start them smelting. And so we can make some bricks. So let's see. Um, let's open up the floor here a little bit. We're going to be replacing this with bricks anyway. Oh! Oh crap. Um, oh, and there's a big space under there. That's not good. Okay, well, as soon as that's done with one level, I'll deal with those spiders. Spiders! Uh, electro furnace. Okay. So this is just a temporary setup. Let's. Oh, no! Oh, did you. Whew! Okay, you did not break. Thank God. Or you did not, like, devolve into a machine block or whatever. Maybe furnaces don't do that, because they're not made with machine blocks. I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! Easy lag. Okay, um, let's grab some food, because I'm getting hungry. Okay, and then let's, uh, cable. Let's lay some cable. Right over here to these guys. Lovely, and then they should start smelting, yay! Modern design, modern design. Okay, let's make sure this is nice and lit up. Um, yeah, I need to do something about this. All right, it's combat time. It's go time. Come get some. Okay, I just completely missed with everything I do. That's good. Okay, he did. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 
Hey, -o. come get some. So, um, in other nodes, the the recent snap, most recent snapshot allows you to enchant things. I'm talking about vanilla Minecraft, by the way. Uh, the most recent snapshot allows you to enchant things. Uh, let me grab some cobble. Actually, let's just use dirt. Uh, with a book instead of an item so you can combine a, an enchanted book and an item at a uh, anvil and that will give you an enchanted item and right now I think it's a bug I don't think it's a design feature but it allows you to enchant anything so in the snapshot in vanilla minecraft right now I could make a Zestonian battle sign <laughs> so I'm I'm actually hoping we upgrade to the um, snapshot while that's still in in the game so I can have one on I have a battle sign on minecraft that would be fantastic what are you doing buddy oh did you run out of energy because we're sucking it all into the furnaces I bet you did shoot um damn how you guys doing yeah you're running kinda slow we're low on energy. I need to make the second one of these as well. All right, be right back. There we go. Double your power, double your pleasure. Okay, let's uh, let's put some more bat boxes into our system. So let's see. We're gonna. I set up sort of the basic. Ah, lovely. I set up the basic grid. No! Oh, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I want to pick you up. I want to pick you up. Okay, so let's make sure this is in... Um, lossless wrench mode disabled. Enabled. Okay, we want to make sure that... Um, that we can pick this guy up. Good. Without breaking it. Okay, let's place that there. Let's place a bat box there. Uh, okay, the output is pointed the right... In the right direction. That was not a very wiry sound. That was like a sounded like a um like wool. Oh God, what happened? That hurt. Ooh. Uh oh, okay, let's um maybe we need to upgrade. Maybe that's too much power for the output. There. Okay, that seemed to be okay. Okay, so now we've got power coming in from this guy, going out to this guy, and then going out to this guy. So, <laughs> my two towers, that shocked me. It hurt. We've got two towers now. Look at this. It's going to be crazy. I haven't added any lava yet. We'll get there. But uh, we, sh we should have a good amount of power now. Uh, yeah, running four f two furnaces. Oh, this these guys finished. Okay, we're running two furnaces. And a quarry at the same time. This is working lovely. And we're down at Y level 35 ish, so we're not going to have. Um, let's actually, let's go start spreading water already. Oh! Uh, we're not going to have like um, a ridiculous amount of cobble. We'll still have a lot of cobble. But we're going to have a higher ratio of good stuff. And actually, I may, it may not have enough, um, oops, no, go back there. I'm wondering what the uh, levels that tin spawns at. That might be an issue, because tin is very important. Tin is in everything, one way or another. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now, um, if the machine encounters lava, it's already going to be turned into obsidian before... Uh, before it, come on, man, spread out. Yep, yep, spread out. There we go. Uh, it will already have been turned into obsidian, so we're gonna get some free obsidian this way as well to build with. Lovely. Awesome. Okay, and then we should be able to just go along the edges, right? And they'll just go boop, 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 boop all the way across. Yep. I wonder if I can use MC Patcher to fix the water in Feed the Beast, or if that'll conflict with mods. I may have to try that out one day. So there it goes. Lovely. So nothing's going to spawn in here, obviously. 
Um, and it shouldn't get hung up because of lava. All right, what now? We've got some cobble. Let's put some more cobble in these guys, actually. Let's just start cooking it up. And I want a workbench down here. Let's see, we can get rid of... That is not a shovel. That's a wrench. Get rid of that. Bring a, a uh, crafting box down here. Um, let's keep that one there. Do I have another one? No, but I can make one. I look like a mole or something, like uh, in some cartoon. Derp, 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 digging a hole, digging a hole, dig, oh, digging a hole with Zisto the mole, digging a hole. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's really hard to navigate like this. Come on. Oh, hurt, hurt. Digging a hole, digging a hole, digging a hole with Zisto the mole. Oh, crap, sticky keys. No, no sticky keys. Bad, bad sticky keys. Uh, all right. <laughs> what was I doing? A crafting bench, okay. Uh, let's put the crafting bench over here. Let's turn our cobble into bricks and let's beautify the place. Um, also, I'm gonna drop off some of this stuff we don't need right now. Let's see, we don't need the pipe. We're done with that for right now. We don't need redstone right now. Uh, MFE, oh yeah, I need to hook that up. Let's, let's do that now. Um, so I'm using a lap pack, and I'm, I need to start charging it because it's actually getting low on charge. And um, the MFE is a medium voltage device, transformer, uh, storage box, whatever. These guys, the bat box, are low voltage, so you don't want to go from medium voltage or high voltage down to low voltage without a transformer, but you can go from low to high. So, uh, what I think I can do, I think all I really need to do is just connect it to one of these wires that's coming off of my central bat box. I think that's all I need to do. So let's put it over here. Um, over here, out of the way, because I'm going to be building in this area, beautifying this place. And I'll put some access wires all over so that um, I, if I need to drop more devices in, I'll just um, dig in the ground and the wire should already be there. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I change my mind. Okay. Well, I'm out of wire, so let's put it here. Whoop. Here. Hop. Here. Okay. And now you're getting power. Lovely. All right, let's charge up the bat box. All right, let's just confirm that we actually need to use that. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah, you can't place it in there. I don't know what that lower slot is for. I know there are upgrades for a lot of the items. You can uh, you can overclock some of the things, like these are upgrade slots. I know you can do that. Oh, these are done. Lovely. Okay, tell you what. Let's... Um, I'm going to bring my cobblestone chest down here. You know what, I'm going to do a little work off camera, and then um, we'll resume. The Death Star Mining Array is at 50% capacity! Nyah, 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 nyah. <laughs> I feel really derpy with these buck teeth in this helmet. It's almost like the generic B effect when... Uh, put on like a, a derpy looking outfit, and all of a sudden you turn into an old man! All right, we are, we're getting there. Look at this craziness. We've got some lava flowing down for, doesn't do anything except look pretty and uh, make things more dangerous. Uh, bat boxes are pumping away, pumping out some juice. We're, we're halfway done with this. I need more refined iron uh, and some other stuff to, to make the other two. We're going to make at least four. I may expand it and just make something really ridiculous. And I've decided to call it the Death Star Mining Array, because I think that sounds awesome. Got a path here with some bricks. I think this path is too wide. 
We, <laughs> we may have to make it narrower and more treacherous. Got some items chugging away out of the uh, the quarry here. It's got to its second layer. The water is complete. Um, there's a lot of ravines around here. So um, here, I'll show you right here. We've actually have a we have a view right here to the to a ravine. And I think um, at first I was yeah. There's the ravine. Um, at first I was just gonna go this way and uh, make quarries on either side of this. I'm thinking that what I'll do instead is I'll go in all four directions. So this, like the mining array, will just be kind of floating here in the middle of this expanse of nothingness. Kind of like the Death Star, the inside of the Death Star. All right, so uh, that's it. I, this video is probably going to be a little bit long. We'll see you next time. Uh, we'll do some more craziness and shenanigans next time. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.